In this tutorial, I'm going to work with the tab ruler to set tabs and create a calendar uh, with con seven consecutive days of the month. To get started, I will set my fill color to black, grab my text tool, and place a text box in the lower half of what's going to be my October calendar. I'm going to pick a sans serif font. You can choose any font you want. I'm working with sans serif today just because it's easy to see. So Helvetica Bold will be my font. I'm going to type October in all caps and select that and enlarge it to 36 point and use my paragraph align center to align the name of the month. I'll hit return, select align left and start typing numbers October 2016. Uh, this year, October starts on a Saturday. I'm just going to start with the first seven days because I want to set my tabs. To set my tabs, I need to go to Window menu. I usually do the keyboard shortcut, which is Command Shift T. If I want to bring up my tab ruler by going to window menu, it's under the little type, uh, that little arrow pointing to the extra stuff. Uh, it's under the type uh, selector so I can choose tabs. And that'll give me a tab ruler that will extend the entire length of the text box I have open. Uh, I am working in pikas right now to make things a little easier. I will set the units to inches and to help us out further I will also go to view menu and turn on my rulers so I see them top and side. So to start setting tabs, most of these tabs are going to be center tabs. So I'm going to choose the arrow that doesn't have a little thing. This is a left tab, a right align tab. This is center tab. This is the one I'm going to use right now. So I'm going to click in the top part of the ruler and just set some tabs. I'll move them. I'm not measuring. Uh, I know I need um, five tabs. I've got one, two, three, four, five. And my last tab is going to have to be right up against the end of my ruler. And it's going to be a right align tab because if I leave it center, it's probably going to get bumped off onto the next line. So now with my tab set, if I put my cursor between the one and the two and hit the tab key, And anything it does that it messes up, I probably put two tabs in there. Okay, so this is stuff that needs to be adjusted. So with all these selected, I can move my tabs and adjust the space between each number. If I wanted to add uh, days of the week, I could use the same tab setup. And again, I'm not doing a good job here. I'm just eyeballing it.
So we're going to pretend that those are all um, spaced equally. If I wanted to put in days of the week, tab, I'm just hitting the tab key as I go. And because I've already set them wherever, if, if I type a letter, hit the tab key, it's going to move it into the next space. And the cool thing about this is if I decide, okay, well, that looks a little off. Maybe I should move this just a smidge. I can, as long as everything's selected. I'll continue to hit tab and type out the rest of the numbers that will make up my month. Okay, so I've tabbed between all of them. I haven't hit return at all. So I said October, it doesn't start on Sunday, it starts on Saturday. So I need to hit tab to get that one over underneath my Saturday. And that is the easiest way I can think of to put together a calendar. Again, if I think like the spacing visually looks kind of strange, I can select, actually let me undo because I probably just bumped everything out of place. Uh, I did Command Z to undo. If I undo something and I want to redo it, I can Shift Command Z and it will put it back the way it was. Uh, if I want to make sure that I move everything, I need to select it. Yes, that was what I did wrong. Okay, looks good to me. If I want to set the number seam a little bit close together from week to week, if I want to change that, and this is something I'm going to have to extend my text box a little bit first. Click to drag to select everything. Open up the character panel. I'm just going to change something. Uh, this box up here, set the letting, is what's going to change the space between each uh, row of numbers. So it's set to the default, which is like 30 uh, 43.2 um, which is the auto setting so I want something more than 43.2 I could go with the list here which lists all the default sizes that uh, point sizes that Illustrator gives me if I think that works that's fine I can also use the up and down arrows to make it a little bit more Actually, 48 is pretty good. Uh, but I can also use the up and down arrows or just type a number in here if I think I know what I want to put in there. And that is your basic calendar month.